In this video, we're going to show how to add a NAS device, such as a Drobo, to Retrospect so that you can use it as a backup source. The first thing I'm going to do inside Retrospect is go to Configure on the left, and then go to Volumes. Under Configure Volumes, I'm going to click on My Network, and under My Network, I'm going to click on Advanced, and I'm going to enter in the UNC path to that device. So I enter in the IP address of my Drobo, and then I enter in a slash, and then I enter in the volume name or share name that I pre-configured. I click OK, and then I have to enter in the username and password so that I can authenticate to the NAS device or Drobo. In this case, I'm going to enter in admin, and then enter my password. Once I've added this to Retrospect, I also want to configure it for automatic login. So I'm going to right-click on the device, I'm going to go to Properties, and then over here in the left corner, I'm going to click Automatic Login, and I'm going to enter in that same set of credentials. This will allow Retrospect to log into the device during a scheduled backup. Once I've added the NAS device to Retrospect, it's going to be available for backup. So if I were to click on Backup and go to Sources, I can now pick that NAS device as my source, and I can copy the data to any storage device that I want.